Shook it up. Today is Tuesday. I've just been to the hairdressers and got my fringe cut. So what do you think? I have to kind of train it to go this way. Well, just got in and we're only home for two days and then we go to Ireland. So I just wanted to top up my groceries and I got muscle food delivered. So I'm just going to take you quickly through what are my essentials because this is what I got from Sainsbury's to keep us going for two days. So I cannot live without these items. So starting with, we've got some fruit for Lex because he has this in the morning. So we've got raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries, lots of blueberries actually. And then for me, I've got some asparagus. So that's two days worth. Some baby leeks, two days worth. Some mushrooms that were juice. Some butternut squash chips, two days worth. So these are the crinkle cut ones, guys. I don't make them myself, I buy them. I've got lemon for Lex for his drink. More lemon. And some pak choy as well. And here, this is actually for Roxy because she's been a little bit fussy with her food when she goes to the kennel. So this is for when she goes to the kennel. I got some options, hot chocolates. Got one of these for my handbag for when I travel. It's like a little squirty candrel. Uh, that's it. Oh, got some oat milk for coffee. Got some raspberry jam. Very messy kitchen and some fruit and fibre essentials for us here is my muscle food order the first box so i've decided to try some of their whey isolates just to see what they're like to bake with i got the cherry bakewell and the vanilla i use vanilla a lot in my baking so we'll see if this works out well with baking because sometimes they can be a bit stodgy and not bake very well um, I got the PhD diet whey bars, chocolate peanut butter. I like these ones and the salted caramel ones. Um, I got a few ready meals. Now, these are purely for convenience. So when we don't have time and we're traveling a lot, these are super handy. And like, they can actually be just stored in the cupboard. So you can just bring it with you if you travel somewhere and get them to microwave it for you. The macros are pretty damn good on them as well. I've topped up my coconut flour so again from a baking and then these i got them last time and they're really good they're the mussel mousse mountain chips barbecue and the sweet chili sauce one per bag they're just like two grams of fat and 13 grams of carbs so pretty damn good with the added bonus of five grams of protein they're really good guys really yummy Box number two is more full of the meat. We have the chicken breast mince, which I use to make like chicken burgers, meatballs, things like that. Really handy. And then I've never tried these before. It's the barbecue chicken fillet. Now, a lot of things that are marinated in a barbecue sauce can actually have quite high of carbs, but this has only added 2.7 grams per 100 of carbs for the marination. So it's barbecue season. I think these are going to be delicious and then bacon medallions i obviously go through a lot of them because i eat them in the morning we've got some handy buffalo caramelized onion burger and jalapeno uh, kangaroo burger so they're the more lean red meats for lex we have some of the new and improved pork and caramelized onion sausage now they've made them into kind of smaller sausages and apparently they are using leaner meats in them and they're way better so for 100 grams raw it's 1.7 grams of fat now that's just crazy it does have 12.5 grams of carbs but that's obviously due to the filling but low fat so super lean and then there's the 16 grams of protein per 100 now a whole sausage wouldn't be 100 anyway more convenient meals again just because we're quite busy these are super handy just throw in the microwave and i've had this one before and it tastes amazing and has crazy good macros so for the whole thing it's only five grams of fat 14.4 grams of carbs and 45 grams of protein and I just don't know how they do it because like it really does taste really pasty and delicious we love the eat lean cheese and they have a spreadable one they actually have loads of varieties of the eat lean cheese and um, but we really I wanted to try these so I've put in order for them and I think in the other box that's not unloaded there's probably the grated cheese 
Then these are Lex's favorite protein bars. He has one every day. So I sucked up on them. And then I got a free pizza. Because most of you do that, they just throw in free stuff. So let's see what the macros are on this pizza. So for 100 grams, now how much is a pizza? 250. So it's about half pizza. Um, is 6.8 grams of fat, 26 carbs, and 11 protein. That's amazing. That's actually phenomenal. So this is a new flavor, mushroom caramelized onion, high protein vegan pizza. So it's a vegan as well. Oh my God. So they're using vegan cheese. I'm gonna just have to open this to see what it looks like. Vegan pizza, happy out. Stephanie can come and visit and I can feed her now. Final yeah. box guys and it is a very meat based, eggy based concoction. We have some of the Joseph's pita breads, I have the mini ones and the bigger ones, I love these, they're so convenient and they have just amazing macros. We also have the new and improved recipe of the lean pork chili and garlic sausages again they're a little bit smaller they are low in fat 2.2 grams of fat per 100 and these ones are actually lower in carbs so if you want to save on your carbs you've only got 0.4 grams of carbs per 100 so this is just amazing anything that's under five grams of fat for me is just phenomenal. Moving on, sorry about the blurriness. We have all these, I like to get the single chicken fillets. They're, ma they're wrapped individually, but look how big they are. They're all about 200 grams. And guys, they don't shrink. That's what's good about muscle food. It is the quality of the meat that they're providing. You can go and buy your chicken breasts from Tesco if you want, but these ones are gonna stay the same when you cook them. Like guaranteed, they're just massive. Like that's one chicken fillet. They're just so much better value for money when you buy them. Like this is five kg and that'll last me and Lex a couple of weeks. We do eat a lot of chicken. It's just a staple. I bulk cook them and barbecue season here, as I said, and we will be sticking them on the barbecue, making them that way for dinner every evening. I get through a lot of egg whites between having scrambled egg whites for breakfast or um, egg white omelets. And in my baking, I use the egg whites a lot. These are so handy to use. You just stick them in the fridge once they're open and they keep for ages and you just pour out instead of wasting the yolk because a lot of people will take the yolk out of the regular egg it's just very convenient guys and again the more you buy the cheaper they are from muscle food and they're like one liter cartons i'll probably go through about two or three of them in two weeks so as you can see that was a very kind of wholesome food haul from muscle food and then i got all my veggies from sainsbury's earlier on so i'm just going to cook up some chicken breasts some vegetables get back on it because we have been eating out all last week and i'm feeling it now i'm feeling kind of a bit sluggish and a little bit bloated. My body prefers to have the old home cooked meals. Every so often is fine, but when I travel, that's the one thing that gets me is that I love my home cooked food. I like to know what I'm putting into my food. I don't add a lot of salt. I don't add a lot of um, extra bits into my food. It's quite simple and just flavored with herbs and spices. So that is the one thing that I've been missing while I travel and when I go on vacation and stuff. Like it's the one thing that kind of holds me back from 100% enjoying myself. So I think maybe our next vacation might be a, like a self catering so that I can still cook because I do enjoy my cooking. And then you have the option of eating out as well if you want. I'm gonna go now because I have loads of footage to get up and I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Wednesday. I've still got the bangs, fringe, whatever you want to call it going on. And I'm here at Derma Skin to get my lips corrected. So they're pretty much going to dissolve the filler because they're just a little bit, you know, lumpy. So I'm just going to see what they say. <clears throat> I've never been here before. It's not a promotion. I'm paying for this out of pocket. It's cost me 350 quid to get my lips fixed. So it's been annoying because obviously it's been a waste of money getting them done. But uh, I just want to feel comfortable in photos and looking back at my videos all that kind of stuff i just want to feel good about myself as you can see again they're not too big it's not that there's too much filler in them it's just that they're a little bit lumpy so i'm just going to see what they do with them today and um hopefully i'll feel a bit better about myself afterwards so i'm all done i decided not to record in um the surgery just because i wanted to have a good old chat with the doctor and 
what he did was he injected a substance into my lips which kind of absorbs the hyaluronic acid which is like your lip filler and it will you'll see my lips will just go down and he said within 24 hours it should be gone down because it dissolves hyaluronic acid it'll actually dissolve the natural hyaluronic acid that's in your lips so they go for a very small amount and then next week if I feel I need a bit more he'll put a bit more in to be honest guys I don't really want big pouty lips I just want a more defined shape on my lips and he said that the filler that I'd had done was simply just injected into the wrong area so moving forward the girl I had been going to and um, you know a lot of these people they're not doctors they don't know about anatomy of the body things like that and this can lead to things not going into the place they should have gone into and they he just thought that the filler probably just wasn't injected deep enough into my lips so I might go back to him to just get the definition put back in my lips once this dissolves we've got like 24 hours and I should be back to normal and have my lovely smile back you can see it already and it wasn't very painful he literally just used the numbing cream and it was not in any way painful so that's a win I'm gonna go and get coffee now Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd all the parents, ain't nobody